CFP. All right, here we are in week two of our quarantine at home workouts. You guys crushed week one, so let's dive right into week two. Um, adding in a bit of strength work today. So um, I've got two whiteboards. We got our strength work that I'm going to go over first, and then we are going to go over our AMRAP and the options there. I'm going to break this down um, piece by piece. Those who have no equipment for body weight option or just want to do the body weight option. Then I'm going to dive into the dumbbell and kettlebell option and then the equipment option. Um, so to start, we've got um, body weight. We're going to do a wall sit um, at 90 degrees as many seconds as possible. We've got two sets and you're going to rest three minutes in between each of those sets. Then we're going to go into a hover lunge hold as many seconds as possible per side. Um, just one set and you're going to rest 60 seconds in between um, each side. So um, follow me. We're going to go over wall sits and the hover lunge hold. For your wall sits, just find a wall. You're going to hold here 90 degrees as long as you can. After those sets are completed, we're going to go into a hover lunge hold. So you're basically holding, let me scoot back some more, um, the bottom, or almost the bottom of your lunge. You're resting just about that knee an inch above the ground. All right, so in case you couldn't see on the hover lunge, your knee's not going to touch the ground. It's going to hover about an inch above the ground. You're going to hold there as long as you can. Um, those who would like to partake in the dumbbell kettlebell option, you're going to do a dumbbell goblet cyclist squat. Um, that's at a 3-3-3-3 three, 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 three tempo. So I'll show you that in just a second. It's going to be an AMRAP, two sets, and you're going to rest three minutes in between sets. Then you're going to go into a dumbbell rear foot elevated one and one fourth split squat, an AMRAP per side, one set with 60 seconds rest in between each side. Um, this is going to get your legs good. <laughs> so for our goblet cyclist squat, grab your dumbbell or kettlebell. If it's too heavy, grab an, um, just an odd object to hold. Elevate your heels. I'm standing on a 25 pound plate. You can stand on any kind of object that you have. Um, feet are going to be together and you're going to keep your chest upright. We're going to go down three seconds. Hold the bottom for a three count. Stand up slowly for a three count. Hold here at the top for three. You're going to do this for as many reps as you can. My legs are already burning. All right. Then we are going to do our um, dumbbell rear foot elevated one and one fourth split squat. I have a chair up um, to show you that you can do these on a chair. I'm lucky enough to have this old bench that we I think found on Craigslist one time at our house. Um, before you pick up the weight, um, go ahead and get your foot set up and your position set. You want this front knee to be 90 degrees. Your back foot's gonna be on the bench or the chair. Um, Hold it in this front position, kind of like your goblet position. Then we're going to stand up and the rep will start from the top. We're going to go down all the way, up a quarter, back down, and then all the way back up. That's one rep. So again, down, slightly up, back down, all the way up. I'll show you from a chair. It would work the same way. Get set up. Hold here. We're going to start here at the top, go down, quarter of the way back up, and then back all the way up. You just want something that is around probably knee height. Um, let me get my board. Around knee height to rest your foot on. Um, if it's a little high and your knee can't quite touch the ground, that's fine. Just go down as far as you can. Come back up a quarter of the way, back down, and then all the way back up for that full range of motion. Um, if you have equipment, it's going to be one and one fourth front squats, 10 reps, two sets with three minute rest in between each set. And then you're going to go into barbell back rack, rear foot elevated split squats, an AMRAP per side, one set with a minute rest in between each leg. 
So for your um, one and one fourth front squats, you'll be here in your front rack, chest up tall. We're going to go down all the way, up a quarter, back down, and all the way up. So down, slightly up, down, all the way back up. For your um, barbell back rack, rear foot elevated split squats, the bar is going to be here in your, on your back, as if you're going to do like a back squat. Um, step your foot out, back foot here on the bench. We're going to go down, and then right back up. You're going to do an AMRAP per side. All right, so that's all of our strength options. Now, on to our AMRAP. 15-minute AMRAP. Body weight option. 10 push-ups, 20 walking lunges with an object overhead, 30-foot bear crawl, 15 feet forward, 15 feet backwards. Your dumbbell or kettlebell option is 10 push-ups. 20 single arm overhead walking lunges with a dumbbell or kettlebell, 30 foot bear crawl, same 15 feet forward, 15 feet back, and then um, your equipment option, 10 push-ups, 20 barbell overhead walking lunges, and a 8 or 10 cow row, I shouldn't say or, 10 cows for guys, 8 for ladies. Um, your cool down, 5 minute walk, 3 minute 90, 90, forward fold, I'll show that in a second. Um, let's go through the standards and movement demos for our AMRAP. Starting with mainly the only thing that's different is the walking lunge. Um, if you have an object overhead, I found this uh, tub full of, we got some white distilled vinegar. Um, you could hold with both hands overhead, walking lunge. If you would like, you can go single arm overhead, walking lunge. Um, it's, if you're going single arm, it will be 10, 20 steps total, alternating legs. Um, overhead, you're still doing 20 steps. If you have a dumbbell or kettlebell, you will go similar pattern, take it overhead, and same thing, 20 walking lunge steps. Just make sure to keep the core nice and tight. If you have a barbell and we're going that route, very similar. I like to take it to my back, hands almost in my snatch grip position. I'm going to press overhead, and then I'm going to lunge. Hello. Um, for the bear crawl, make sure that we're not just hobbling along with our butt up nice and high. I would like you to try and keep your hips even with your shoulders as you crawl. Measure 15 feet out, 15 feet back. Um, those who have the who have a rower, um, that'll be a nice little substitution for the bear crawl. Um, all right, so cool down. We got the 90-90 forward fold stretch. I'm gonna bring my camera down to floor level. Um, we are gonna be in this 90-90 position. So we're all gonna be forward folding. So just make sure each leg, you can see a 90 degree angle at your knees. We're going to forward fold and we're going to hold here. Three minutes per side. Try and keep your chest up, leaning over that front leg. You can see I'm not going very far. My hips are pretty tight. <laughs> After that three minutes is up, we will switch sides. 90 here again, 90 here, and I'm going to forward fold and hold. All right, gang, so that's your Monday workout. Go crush it. I'll be on Facebook Live at 10 a.m. Let me know how it goes. All right, a couple corrections. I didn't want to redo that whole 10-minute video because um, I didn't come till the end. On your um, overhead walking lunges, if you're doing single arm, I want you to switch the weight after 10 steps. Um, so do 10 steps, um, alternating legs with the weight, say, in the right arm. Then let's switch and do the next 10 in the left arm. Um, also, when you are doing your push-ups just to make sure no one's cheating um i want you to make sure your chest touches the ground body presses up keep it in one straight line um if you need to scale you can go down to your knees chest to the ground press back up um and 
I think I lied about what time I will be on Facebook Live. We're obviously handing out equipment at 10 a.m. Um, so I will hope to see you at the gym there to pick up some stuff. Um, but I'm not sure which time if I'm going to do it before or after. So I'll let you know in the email. All right. Miss you guys. See ya.